Well, this is not how I thought WWE was going to kick off in 2018 for Paige. Viewers and subscribers, share, subscribe, and smash the bell to this very channel. Paige's in-ring WWE career is reportedly over, according to a report from PW Insider as seen on Wrestling Inc. Paige, who's his 25, has been out of action since uh, sustaining an injury at a Royal Live event at the Nassau Coliseum in December. Paige was teamed with Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville against Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Mickey James. Paige took a kick to the back from Banks and was dropped to the canvas. Paige struggled to get to her feet before falling to the mat, causing the referee to throw up the dreaded X injury signal to stop the match. And this is just after Paige returned. Paige just came back, made a successful comeback, you know, put a tandem, a team together, and now her, her career has ended. PW Insider reports that Paige was told that this Monday's Raw that she will not be able to return to the ring. It was noted that she is done as a wrestler and that the situation is similar to Edge's retirement in 2011. Paige has, had just returned to WWE in late November after a 17-month absence Due to a neck injury she suffered in June 2016, during her absence, she suffered two wellness policy suspensions. During an appearance on Lillian Garcia's Chasing Glory podcast last month, she discussed that the neck injury she suffered in 2016, she revealed that she had been suffering from a scoliosis and her years of wrestling contributed to her neck injury. Uh, she had bumped one day outside of the ring and noted that it didn't feel right. She would wake up in a lot of pain, but tried to hide the injury from WWE so that she could still wrestle. She finally told WWE because she was starting to make mistakes uh, in the ring and she didn't want to become a danger to others. So while Paige wanted to be protected and she wanted to be good and she didn't want to, you know, you know, be injury prone or put others at risk or put herself at more risk. And now she's the one that gets put in danger. She's the one that gets injured. And, and Sasha Banks can really be led to be blamed um, for this situation, and it's a sad state of affairs. I mean, a, 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 a star, a woman, a girl, an athlete, the caliber of Paige. She has wrestling in her blood, wrestling in her family. She's been doing this since she was a kid. She's been doing this forever. It's instilled in her. It's ingrained in her, and now she has to retire. She has to leave the WWE at such a young age. What a horrible, tragic stance. What a way to... What a way for it to end by an injury. So what does this mean for Paige? She's not even going to be able to compete in, in the first ever Women's Royal Rumble where, it, you know, it was all about history. It was all about making a mark. It was all about making a statement. Paige was going to make an impact in that Royal Rumble match. She was back. All the things were in place. And now Paige has been misplaced. She's canceled. She's done. And she has to retire. The fire that was ignite, ignited under Paige. And now for this to happen, and this is not the kind of... I feel very uncomfortable doing these kind of videos. Whenever I hear about an injury or a death in professional wrestling, it really rubs me the wrong way. And, and it's really tough for me to do these kind of episodes. Um, and viewers and subscribers, it was also revealed that um, Fox... Viewers and subscribers, it's, it's revealed that Fox could be buying WWE the right someone the night raw. They could be dropped from the USA Network. Um, and you know, this is just, this is startling, uh, to me. Um, like I said, viewers and subscribers, this is not what I want to do. Um, like I said, WWE potentially moving to Fox and going back to two hours that is being reported that is being set online. And now you got Paige who is going to be forced to end her WWE career. And this is not the way Paige saw things going. I didn't expect this. I did not anticipate this. And that's why you have to enjoy and love and respect all these wrestlers and all these girls who put their body on the line because you just never know when it's going to end. You don't know when it's going to be tragic. And this is a tragic end. I mean, Paige has had a stellar career. Paige has, you know, won titles. She's been in the main events. She has made history. She put the woman on the map for the last several years. And now for it to go down like this is a tragic turn of events and very shocking. Not the way I anticipated 2018 to start. While we have a woman's evolution and a woman's revolution, we have history being made at the Royal Rumble for Paige. Now it comes down and ends like this. And this is just sad. And I don't know if the WWE is going to have, you know, roll out, you know, a whole, you know, retirement ceremony. Maybe Paige will be inducted into the Hall of Fame, although I think it's a little too early for that. But once again, viewers and subscribers, a very sad and trying time for Paige. And I do deeply feel for Paige. And um, this is this is tough. Like I said, this is some of my toughest videos I have to do. When you have to talk about a wrestler retiring before they are ready to, or or injury, or death, it's it's a tough pill to swallow. And this is this is gonna be very tough. And I don't know, you know, Paige, you know, it's battling demons, you know, overcoming the odds, you know, overcoming injury. But if the WWE doesn't want you to compete, Daniel Bryan is solid proof that the WWE aren't gonna allow you to compete. More to come. And what do you think about Paige's injury and her being forced to retire from in-ring action? And what about? WWE going back to two hours on Monday Night Raw and potentially dropping um, from the USA Network. Wow, this is a Raw on Fox. Hey, maybe more viewership, but then SmackDown will ultimately lose ratings. More to come. Subscribe. Stay tuned.